Hello there. This video is going to be about how to bring in a new skin on your thesis uh, software. <clears throat> Being a Flex Radio user for several, several years, uh, clear back to the Flex 3000 and 5000, I like to mix it up all the time. So I had enjoyed uh, doing that. <clears throat> and we get tired of the different screens and some people like uh, the screen that comes with the software. And uh, myself, I like to change it up. And it seems like about every two, three days, I usually mix and match things up a little bit. And you could even make it the way you want to uh, see the screen. <clears throat> so uh, let's see, I will bring this up here. I will show you here. I'm bringing up my new version that I just downloaded this morning of uh, Thesis. <clears throat> and uh, this, uh, of course, you go into your setup and you go over to Appearance. And you click on there, and you select whatever one you want. Click on Apply, and you're done. <clears throat> so, if you uh, if you go over to a website, um, that's Rob W one A E X dot com. <clears throat> Rob is pretty much the guru of skins for Thesis and Open SDR. And there's lots of reading here on uh, Rob's website. <clears throat> so much that it could be a little bit overwhelming. If you start at the beginning, go down through the, uh, the information and just take your time. Read a little bit, take a break. Read a little more, and, uh, and and then try it for yourself. And uh, he tells you that the location that uh, that we have to install the file, if you're running Windows 10, 8, or 7, for Thesis, we have to go and install it in through your users. And your username, app data roaming, and then open HPSDR, and then you that's where you'll find your skins. <clears throat> so that's where the files need to be installed. A lot of times, if you're relatively new to your particular computer and you have not been in a lot of folders and files. I'm not going to use the word tinkering around because that's what I do a lot. You'll find sometimes that app data does not exist. <clears throat> you will go to a C drive users and then your account name, whatever it is you log on there to it, and then you'll you'll see that there's no app data there. Well, what we have to do, that's a simple fix. And sometimes, um, well, they like to hide folders. <clears throat> do not show um, folders that are uh, potentially, uh, you could mess them up. So they are automatically hidden. So in order to, one of the first things that we need to do is we need to make sure that that app data folder is unhidden. In order to do that, we need to go into, just click on, you need to go into your C drive. So click on uh, anywhere where you can get to it. In my case, I'm just going to click on a, uh, the folder here. <clears throat> and then... Uh, the file folder section and then 
<clears throat> come up here at the top and click on view uh, once you get in your view tabs you come over and you'll see an option tab right there click on options and then there'll be a little uh, bar that'll pop up and you click on that change folder and search options once that comes up <clears throat> There'll be a tab here, a little box here. Now, you want to click on View. Aha, there's where we need to go, right there. And if you'll see, this one right here, it says Hidden Files and Folders. And most of the time, like I say, most of the time, if you haven't been in this folder before, it will usually be hidden. So we want to unhide that so we can see everything on the computer. So we want to click on don't or show hidden files, folders, and drives. And then click OK. And uh, close that out. <clears throat> and then you'll be able to uh, get access to uh, where you need to install it. So if we go back to um, the website. Uh, Rob's website, W1AEX. We know now that um, the file is going to be installed in the app data, uh, roaming, open, HPSDR. So now we know that uh, we uh, <clears throat> clicked on that uh, to unhide that uh, area there so we can see that. Again, a lot of times, uh, if you haven't been in there before, a lot of times it's hidden. But basically, from here on out, it's very simple. Um, you roll down. You scroll down. Now, Rob has a lot of um, <clears throat> uh, skins that he's made up, and I would recommend to just uh, get your feet wet. And, of course, it's just a simple click. Click and download one of his skins. And uh, and then we'll pick one here. I have several of them already in here on mine, but uh, let's do let's do this one here. So we wanna we wanna download uh, its camouflage skin. So we'll go ahead and click download. <clears throat> this is a Windows 10 machine, so we'll see that uh, uh, that it's right there. And then we want to go ahead and open file once it gets done downloading and so there it is it only takes just a couple seconds to download and now we have to extract because it's uh, it's a zip file so we want to hit extract all right here extract all and then it will choose a destination for your file now one thing that usually will pop up, it usually wants to put it in a download area where you keep all your downloads. But we don't want to do that. If you remember, we wanted to find, and we need to find, and we need to put it in app data folder. So if you go to browse, and uh, because I've already put them in my app data folder it automatically popped up but uh, you 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 probably will not see this so what you would want to do is you would want to click on my pc you would want to click on your operating system and then you want to go to users double click users and then here you will want to click on your uh, your name that you log in on your computer and uh, the one that you to use every single day and mine is the LG WSAW we'll double click that and look at there ah app data by golly there it is now normally that wouldn't be there because some of that stuff is hidden but uh, we unhid it so we're able to uh, uh, double click on that <clears throat> Once you double click on it, you'll see some uh, three items there. Yours may be more, but we want to click on roaming. That's where it needs to go on roaming. And then bingo, 
we go down to there and we see open HBSDR. Now you'll also see Flex Radio Systems, but we're not working in that. So we want to open up HPSDR, a double click. There we go, we're in the right area. So we're uh, uh, Drive C, Users, your username, and there's that app data that was hidden. Then we want to go to Roaming. And then we want to go to Open HP SDR. And there you have it. You click on your skins. And that's where it needs to go, right there. So <clears throat> you don't have to do anything down here. You don't have to change anything. You just uh, hit the Select folder. And it will, um, here's your route that it's going to. And you will go ahead and Extract All. And that'll usually take just a, a couple seconds there to do that. <clears throat> and we'll wait for that to come up there. Okay, it is complete. So you go ahead and exit out of that. And uh, we will close this here. And go ahead and open up your, I don't think I have it open. Oh, yeah, actually I do. I do have it open. Uh, you, you you should probably uh, just go ahead and uh, reset the radio or the software, I guess. So reset it, double click there. Okay, and then we'll go into our setup, our appearance. And we're looking for camo, the W1AEX camo. And there it is. Click on that, put OK, and there you go. Done up like that. Now you won't be able to hear it because I don't have the speakers coming in through the, uh, the video audio here. <clears throat> but that's a, a simple way to uh, bring in uh, a skin into Thesis and once you have all your your different skins in there of course you can go to each one and tweak each one around and uh, I hope that this video was uh, useful to you I know that <clears throat> sometimes we take it for granted uh, with the everyday things that we do and we leave a lot of people behind and uh, it's just uh, it's really simple once you do it a couple times uh, uh, you'll uh, you'll get right on it the main thing is is you uh, you got to find that app data once you get that app data in there well then you'll be uh, you'll be ready to go so have fun with the new skins. Enjoy. This is N7ZDR here in uh, Idaho. Bye-bye.